so glad they're here to share some of that with you tonight. Caleb and Will and your buddies to share some and you get to hear some from my bride. But I was really wrestling with that and I was thinking about this song. I was thinking about if I'm going to sing this song again or any of my songs, God, can I really still say that? Because I do not want to stand in front of my friends and, and lie and say something that while I have many, many questions, I, I'm not going to sing it or say it if I can't at least say it with, with confidence in you, with the certainty that as best as I can, I can say this is true of my heart. And uh, as I wrestled one day, I remember I was sitting at my kitchen table and thinking about this song, have my Bible there, and I decided if I'm going to sing this song, I'm really going to say, God, it's all yours, and I need to, I need to write just a little bit more. I need to add a little addendum to this song. And uh, so this is the, the verse that I wrote that day as I was sitting there deciding um, if I could still make this declaration. And I've walked the valleys of death's shadow so deep and dark that I could barely breathe. I've had to let go more than I could bear and I've questioned everything that I believe. Still even here in this great darkness there's a comfort and a hope that comes breaking through as I can say families, 
things that we give ourselves to, but God, tonight we need to remember whose we are, who we are, who are made by you, saved by you. So we come as your dearly loved, blood-bought children to acknowledge that we need you, that we want you to be glorified in this time, in this concert tonight. God, we invite you to come. Holy Spirit, come to us as your children. And fill this place with your presence, your healing presence, your comforting presence, your convicting presence where it's needed, God. Be glorified in our time together. We pray and we ask as your sons and daughters. In the name of Jesus.